Right, uh, students at a new creative and performing arts academy here in the Midlands got a superstar surprise today when pop princess Jessie J popped in for a chat. The Birmingham Ormiston Academy is the first of its kind outside London and it's been compared to the capital's famous Brit school, which is where Jessie herself learnt her trade. Lee Comley reports. The students knew it wasn't your average school assembly but they weren't quite sure exactly who was waiting outside. She's now a worldwide superstar, but Jessie J dropped in to offer advice to students wanting a music career. When I wrote Who You Are, and I remember being so down. I remember thinking, I have been working, you know, I've been signed for seven years. I've been writing my debut album for seven years until it came out this year. And I know there's a lot of people that are like, oh, this Jessie J girl came out of nowhere and she's never done anything. And as an extra surprise, she asked for a demo from a few of the students who nervously obliged. But since she's in town for her tour, she had another treat. Would you do me the honour in coming on stage tonight and singing that oh. in front of the crowd? Oh. Yeah? Good. Oh, can we sort that out? Oh. 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 I can have a little rest. The Brit School has turned out stars like Adele, Amy Winehouse and, of course, Jessie herself. And the BOA Academy in Birmingham is hoping to do the same. Today, the Academy unveiled its new £100,000 recording studio. We're unique in terms of our selection process, so all our youngsters are selected on their aptitude in particular subjects. And the ethos behind our teaching um, is that all the courses um, are delivered by um, our creative partners, so industry and teachers. So it's important that our radio studio, our recording studio, television studio are industry standard, and this is industry standard equipment. But even with the amazing new equipment, the multi-award winner says it's all about putting in the hard work. Ever since I was 17, 18, I was doing open mic nights. I was performing and I was trying to get my music heard by anyone I could. And I think that's what these guys need to hear, that it's not easy, it's hard work and the sacrifices you have to make are really a big deal. But if you're willing to do that, you can make sure you can get up every day and do what you want to do. For the students, an assembly to remember. And for three of them, a chance to sing in front of thousands at Jesse's gig tonight. All in all, not a bad day at school. Lee Comley for Central Tonight. And the lesson they learned, it ain't about the money, 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 is it? It is very good. No. Yeah, it took us seven years to write that, you know. <laughs> well, the album. <laughs> yeah, I hope you're not in a rush for the next one. No, we like the screaming, actually. We're just saying it's the kind of response we expect when we go to supermarkets, yeah, isn't it? Yes, but we don't, <laughs> we don't get, get, get no. <laughs> Now, in a moment, we'll...